I've spent the vast majority of my adult life um, as a poor musician, um, up until the point that it struck me that my music was a joke. Um, <laughs> and, and one of the things that happens when you're, when you're a starving artist is it's weird because uh, wealthy professional people whose lifestyle you covet often come up to you and profess uh, envy for your lifestyle, citing reasons such as um, flexible work hours and <laughs> geographical freedom and, and always something to do with the potential for spiritual growth. I don't even know what that means. And they always seem to have um, a musical instrument tucked away in the dark recesses of their past with which they seem to have a relationship of regret as if they believed that it was just a, a fleeting childhood decision that steered them away from the path of the, the virtuosic classical cellist or the, the heavy metal singer and towards that of the pharmaceutical salesperson or whatever they became. And it, it, it sort of goes like this. Tim, is it? Yeah. So what do you do? Um, I'm a pianist. Ah, <laughs> penis? <laughs> no, I'm a pianist. Yeah, I know. It sounds like penis, though. Yeah, I know. So piano, eh? Wow, yeah. You know, I used to play piano. Did up to grade seven. Always regret giving it up, you know. I wish I'd stuck with it. You're so lucky. Thanks. Um, what do you do? I'm a gynecologist. Wow. Gynecology, yeah. I used to play Truth and Dare with my cousin. I once stuck a shoehorn up her fanny. I wish I'd stuck with it, you know. You're so lucky. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, but I have lots of, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I have loads of professional friends and they're all wonderful people. The, the only group of pro professionals that I ha have a little bit of a problem with is stockbrokers. Um, and if there's any stockbrokers in the audience, don't, I, I don't have a problem with what you do. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what it is. But, uh, <laughs> but I have a grammatical issue with, with, your, with your job because broke is the past tense of break. Um, so you can't, you know, you can't actually have a broker. <laughs> I don't call myself a singer. <laughs> so this is a beat poem, you lucky dogs, uh, uh, about a conversation I had with a stockbroker, and it's called Mitsubishi Colt. <laughs> he looks at me. Intensely, eyes sparkle, contact lens green with artificial envy. Cocks his head and fixes me with a condescending stare. Flicks his bleached blonde tipped hair and theorizes thus. You know what I reckon? Pause for effect. Adjusts his tackle as if it's semi erect. I figure I better give him what I know he expects. What do you reckon? A hand on the shoulder, an avuncular wink, sips his lemon drink, spits out the pips, hands on hips, licks his lips like a wolf near a flock. Yet again, adjusting this fantasy cock, he delivers his philosophy. I reckon it don't matter. It don't mean squat what you earn or what you got or the style of your hair or what you wear. It matters not. I mean, what do you care that I live on a hill with views of the beach? That my chicks and my dogs have an ensuite bathroom each? That I've already reached my first 10 million and I'm only 36? You're as thick as two bricks if you think you can fix what is broken in your life with money. And the funny thing is, and I shit you not, I would give it all up like that. He leaves me to ponder his wisdom for a bit and with a click of his fingers he beckons the blondest, bimboest barmaid and grinning ridiculously orders a G&T and a beer for me. And before I can escape he's back saying, cause mate, it's all superficial all that crap, it's all just a front. I mean anyone can be a rich cunt but the thing we all want can't be bought with dosh, you know what I mean boss? Cause it's not like you give a toss that when I want to get slim I've got my own private gym and a personal trainer called and Danielle or Darlene, she's got tits like those chicks in them chick magazines and it's not like you care that I own a controlling share of an overseas company that builds accounting software. It matters not one bit. I mean, who gives a shit that I earn 600 grand and drive a brand new Land Rover? You know, I'd hand it all over like that. 
He pauses for a beat long enough for me to retreat to a seat and sit elbow on bar and contemplate this guru with his white teeth and big car and ponder silently my belief that genius comes in many forms and that this pontificating peroxided porn star prick ain't one of them. My speculation cut short as he reforms like Terminator 2. And before I have time to abort, he descends upon me and snorts. I guess what I'm trying to say in my own little way is that I reckon musos and artists and that, well, I reckon they're great. I know some people who reckon you guys just sit on your bums and don't get out of bed till the pizza man comes and smoke cones and take crack and whack off all day. But I don't care what they say. And I don't listen to people who say all actors are gay. Not that I don't think that's okay. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, although it's not my bag, if you want to be a fag, be a fag, you know? I mean, who am I to say where you come and where you go in the privacy of your own homo? <laughs> homo. <laughs> homo. <laughs> He's shitting me now. And my eyes start to glaze and through the haze of my anger I notice his G and T is gone And he's starting to dribble as he dribbles on and fucking on But you musos are alright, I don't know much about music but I know what I like And I reckon I'll give it all in to be like you Jim Tim Cause you might be poor in monetary terms but what you earn spiritually What makes you what you are just means so much more than what you'll get from a really nice car or tennis courts or holidays in Greece or a house on the beach or stock market shares or 31 pairs of Calvin Klein underwear. Do you understand? You are a wealthy, wealthy man and mate, I don't want to piss in your pocket but i got to say before I get on my way that honestly, and I'm not having you on, I reckon one day you could play piano as good as Elton John. The cops are still mingling, though the crowd shuffled out. I've got ice on my hand where my fist met his mouth. And although I explained that it wasn't my fault, I have an 800 buck fine for aggravated assault. So before it gets worse, I reckon I'll bolt. A wealthy, wealthy man in a 1981 Mitsubishi.